guys, in today's video I will show you how to get this makeup look here. I wanted to do a tutorial on a look that is easier to achieve and it doesn't require a lot of time. This is perfect if you want to go somewhere but you don't have a lot of time or you just don't want to wear a lot of eye makeup but you still want to look polished and glamorous. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So I already did my foundation and concealer. I'm going to have all the products that I use listed down in the description box. In the description box. <laughs> and now I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hughes Deep Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. I'm having an eyebrow tutorial coming up very soon. So I'm going to show you guys there step by step how I do them. So now I'm going to prime my eyelids. Actually today I'm going to use some concealer for that, I'm using this one here. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hours concealer. And then very quickly I'm setting it with a matte nude eyeshadow. And this is going to prevent it from creasing and also make it easier to blend the eyeshadows that I'm going to apply on top of it. So for today's look, most of the products that I'll be using will be from the, the Balm Voyage palette by the Balm. This is the perfect traveling palette. It has everything you need. It has some really pretty shades here. A bronzer, highlighter, two blushes and two lipsticks. And it's also super compact. Okay, so the first shade that I'll be using will be this one here. And I'm going to apply it in my crease. And I'm slightly bringing it in the upper crease area. Try to keep it away from the lid area, but also don't take it all the way up to the brow bone. Just something in between them. <laughs> so you can definitely stop here, but I just want to make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to take the bronzer from the palette and I'm going to apply it again in the crease. And I'm very very high-handed high and I'm very very light-handed I'm barely touching the skin with the brush and I'm slowly building up the intensity so you can see how it looks a little bit darker than before I like it this way better. Next on a flat brush, I'm going to take this white matte eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. And I'm also going to kind of cut the crease here, but very softly. I don't want to create a harsh line. And I'm taking the same brush that I used to apply the bronzer and I'm going to blend it here so it's nice and soft. Now I'm going to do some wing liner and I'll be using my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. I love this one, it's so easy to apply and it's also super affordable. I just, I don't like the brush of it, it's like way too thick for me so I'm using another one to apply it. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner done, I'm going to take again this shade here and I'm going to apply it underneath my lower lash line and I'm going to keep it just in the outer half. And by the way, the mirror of this palette is so cute. Now in the outer half of my waterline, I'm going to apply the Essence Gel Eye Pencil in shade Cocoa Bean. Okay, so now it's time for lashes and the first thing that I'm going to do is curl them. I'm going to apply some falsies today, so we need some preparation for that. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be using the Rimmel Lash Accel Accelerator. And I'm going to apply also to the bottom lashes. I 
I just applied some glue on my lashes and now I'm going to wait it to get tacky. Next I'm taking the highlighter from the palette and I'm going to use it to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. So now I'm going to finish up the face and I'll be using this shade right here to contour. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Scalp and Contour Kit and it's my favorite. It has the right amount of warmth and it's also the right darkness for me and that's why I like it. And I'm going to apply just a little bit on the top of my forehead. For blush I'll be using this one here again from that The Balm palette. And for highlighter, I'll be using the same that I use on my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so basically with this look you can wear whatever lipstick you want, but I'm going to go for more of a nude shade and I'm going to apply this lipstick by NYX and it's in shade Frappuccino. I like how hydrating this lipstick is. So yeah, this is the finished look guys. I wanted to show you today something that it's not that hard to achieve, but still something that will make you feel a little bit more glamorous. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook, they'll be listed down in the description box. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye!